sunscreen. Don't be scared, it's just me. I can't explain. A lot has happened, but uh, it's going to be okay. I think. Um, so, uh, I guess I should start uh, talking. Uh, you can't move at the moment. Uh, I'm kind of tied up at uh, yeah, the table over your mouth. I I will, I will take it off, I promise. Um, once I explain myself a little bit, um, I don't want our neighbors to hear us, and I have a very good um, explanation. So, uh, just, uh, you sit there. I should clarify I, uh, how you got here. Uh, so, someone, a mutual friend, um, gave me this. Uh, they said it's kind of like uh, chloroform, in a way, I guess. Don't, don't look at me like that. I would never hurt you. Um, no, uh, I'm trying to protect you care about you, um, a lot. Uh, it's just, um, you, uh, you don't really want to listen to, uh, the obvious or anyone else's point of view, and, uh, I really just needed to find a way to talk to you alone and, um, make you see what's right what's right in front of you. So, more or less, you were asleep, and I held this up to you so you would be unconscious and I could get you in this position. But I, I would never do anything. I mean, well, not unless, you know, provoked. Yeah, it's just, I just really needed to talk to you. Okay, no, don't. No. This is, this is just in case it's for my safety. Just, um, just don't make any loud noises. Okay, and let's just try and have an adult conversation. I just really want you to kind of hear where I'm coming from. Okay? I know it's right. We have an agreement. Okay, good. If you know, if you promise to listen, I can remove the tape so we can make this a uh, mutual conversation between us. Yeah. Nod your head up and down. And but I thought so. I knew we had a closer bond here now. Okay. Hold still, I'll just take that off. Don't scream. I will never hurt you. I mean, how long have we known each other? You trust me, right? Good, good. That's what I thought. Um, so, uh, no. No, no, no. Shh. I can't remove the um, rope just yet. Uh, we haven't had a chance to talk. And, um, I just need you to sit still for a little bit. Just until I know this is, um, going somewhere. Okay? I mean, I don't want to have to use this again. Okay. So, let's just uh, have a little chat. So, as you know, we 
We've been friends, roommates, I don't know, crushes. Yeah, um, for a while now. And, you know, that's the whole reason we moved in together, because we've had history and we could trust each other, right? Right. So, when you started dating, um, yeah, I, um, tried to be the supportive friend that I am, but, uh, just, I'm just gonna come out and say it, they're not good for you. Yeah, I mean, the constant bickering and fighting and they just don't know anything about you, they don't like the stuff you're interested in, they just try to push their own agenda on you, and then me sitting here day in and day out, listening to you crying through the walls, and just being upset with them, and the arguing, and the ignoring, and I just can't bear to see you, I just can't bear to see you get hurt. I know you think you love them, but you keep going back to them and they just keep treating you poorly. And, oh, well, I love you. I love you so much. I know everything there is to know about you and I just can't continue to see you get hurt. So, it was either I do something with them or I try to have a logical conversation with you. I mean, tell me, what is it that you possibly see? Besides that they look good. Exactly my point. You can't really name anything. I mean... I know everything there is to know about you. We've been friends since we were little. Now roommates. I know... Your favorite color. What you want to be after you graduate your height, your weight, your blood type, your favorite food, your grandmother's name, everything. Yes, I mean, that's not weird. I've been keeping record of it. I mean, that's what you do when you love someone, right? You want to know everything. Everything there is to know about them. And they weren't paying any attention to you. And I thought if I continued to be the supportive, and loving friend, roommate, whatever it is that you needed, eventually, eventually you would see what's right in front of you. But it seems I have to speed this process up just a little bit faster than I had originally intended. So, here we are. I mean, you can't tell me you don't anything either. I mean, what can they provide for you that I can't? I can take care of you. I can, you know, take care of your hair. I can cut it for you for free. You know, I'm a cosmetologist. I can pamper you. I know you like ASMR. I can even do that for do all those things just for you. So really, what's the downside? I mean, how much effort and time have I put in to this relationship throughout the years? And what am I getting in return? A roommate. I want more than that. Do you see where I'm coming from? I thought so. I thought you would. I mean, you obviously like me too, right? Or else you, we wouldn't have been living together. You probably just thought that I wanted to be friends, right? Right? Well, this is me telling you that I want more than that, and you don't need them. So, why don't I just take your phone, and we go ahead and just 
send them a little text or better yet, I could give them a little call and you could just end things right now. I mean, you don't want to be with them anyway, right? They're really not good for you. I am. I'll take care. What do you say? I mean, it's either you end things with them, or I can go make sure they end things with you. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Good. That's what I thought. Um, here. I'll just call them. And you go ahead and do the talk. And that's enough. Okay. Great. Now that we have that little hiccup out of the way, it's time we celebrate. <laughs> to new beginnings. I got us some champagne. I've been dreaming of this moment for Do you want the Spider-Man glass or the Ariel glass? <laughs> I thought so. Okay. I'll go ahead and I'll pour one for you and one for me. And then I really, I know you've been looking to get a haircut soon and I've been saying I'm too busy. Honestly, I just, you were spending a lot of time with them and I was finding it awfully hard to be around you when you were with them. Yeah, so. This way. Now I can cut your hair. Because we're together. And I want to take care of you. Let's just open this up here. We don't want to wake the neighbors, so I'll try to be quick. I love busy wine. Just relax, sweetheart. I'm going to pamper you today. Like I said, I know how much you like ASMR. And now we're together. Every day I'm just going to take care of you. Every single day. So just relax and let go. Let me pour us a drink. Let's have a little toast to us and let's do that little haircut, shall we? Cheers. Oh, right. The room. Alright, I can cut that off for you. But if 
you do anything, anything at all, I'll make sure that that's the last thing you do. Understand? Hold still. Feeling better? So about that toast. Cheers to us. Drink it. No. No, you don't need much, just a little drip. Sit still, here, sweetie. Hold still here, don't move. You look so good. <laughs> but she always looks so good. The haircut won't change that. <laughs> Can't believe that. Finally. After all these years, I know that I would sooner than change. That's just a little bit more here. What did I do her? Aren't you feeling a bit more refreshed? No hair in your eyes. See? I can offer so much more to you than they can. It's only your first day of being together. more relaxed. Oh, before I forget, I got you a present. <laughs> to say congratulations on all of your recent achievements. I've been waiting for the perfect time to give it to you, and I think this is it. Do you like it? It's a new That way you can keep track of every second spent with me. <laughs> Don't you just love it? I thought you would. Hold still, let me just put this on. You can 
can really admire. <laughs> okay. you wanted why are you screaming i have so many questions i'm kind of freaking out a little bit i thought that we had come to an understanding <sighs> you don't still think you're not still thinking about them are you i mean <laughs> it's very well i see we're gonna have to try to do this the hard way i don't know if this would work but <sighs> you need me I'm gonna have to hypnotize you. Hold still.
Cabis, Phoenix, Sam Hipwell, Logan Orr, Miguel Martinez, Fire Drake 0470, Sarpanel de Panin, Unleash Lewis 22, Matt C13, Cobalt Enigma, Andrea 906, Paul, Farser, Gary McAwai, Robert, Apollyon 001, Connor, Tom, Dennis, Connor J. Pesca, Buddy Beck, Livid Canadian, Reviewers, Nameless Throwaway, Stefan Starlowito, Breeze, Makami, Link1259, Ethan Jansen, Derek Cooksey, Mike B, Spencer Reed, or Comper, Angry Cripple, Jackson Arnold, Andrew Ball, Cece, Mr. Adelon, Thomas Flanagan, SDR Knight, Biznatch 112, Craig, Crenandros, Hollow, Mr. Ox1998, Just Woodsy, Spy Cam, Wolf's Rain 17, Sam Small, Tom J, Derek Jenkins, Aaron, Justin Parmentier, Ryan Wareham, Ray Warden, This Charming Mothman, Leon Kun ASMR, Zio Key, Clyde Fabian, Undarian ASMR, Falconian, Kyle Cacante, Chaffa, 8 Penguin 909, Dragonflame, Ivor, Sleepy Sloth, Mr. Mayhem, Chris MC83, Bartlehawk764, Mermo0921, Mike S, ASMR Musings, Sensei John Rivera, Ringo, Apollo, Literally My Husband, Mark M, James Pudic, Jacob RN, Dude, Johnny D. Renzo, Chug Implier 316, Nicola D's, Jeremy Spaniel, Sark 237, Justin, Scourge 77, Eric Smart, John TC1, Brian, Patrick Stewart, Luxon, 